I say that society in regards to like music, you touched on music, on yeah. movies, entertainment. Yeah. How do you think they promoted the narrative of lowering the value of black women? Like, uh, I really have a problem with how like, you know, some songs are like, basically all rap songs back in the days used to call all women bees. You know what I'm saying? Or to this day. To this day. Or she get it from a mama, like, you feel me? Or I ain't gonna they, lie to they promote that record, though. money over bees. Like, you feel me? They they nah. really push that. Like, how do, you, how do y'all feel that the society or the narrative has been promoted to on be, media? To be honest with you, though, bro, like, um, I think, honestly, my personal opinion, bro, um, it's it's horrible, man. I think that um, at the end of the day, like, they they take that and they don't really push it upon white women. Like, normally when they talk about the bees, it's always to it's normally towards you know the black female. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? Now don't get me wrong, there are white females that can be a B. There are you know Spanish females that can be a B, you know, but at the same time, like normally, right, the B is referred to the black woman. You feel what I'm saying? Like I don't normally. I mean, I'm talking about rap. I'm talking about rap music by black men, so of course you're generally. Yeah, about black women. but the thing I is, mean, though, it's not like we listen to the white people's music. And but the, like but <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is that like these black artists, you feel me, have white fans as well. So now when this brother, this white brother, is singing along, you feel me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you he's know, thinking about black women. Exactly. When he sings you know along, what I'm saying? Because not only that, you got Webby. I'm gonna use Webby as an example. You feel me? Or she got Trina. her own house. Yeah, you feel me? No, or not not that. You know what I'm saying? That's a bad a bad. Yeah. That's a bad a bad. B- yeah. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? And then Trina, I'm the baddest. Yeah. So it's kind of like how we use the N word. Yeah. Like I don't. You know what I'm saying? We take it and made it our own definition. Some of the women say, "All right, you're gonna use that to bring us down." Okay, we're gonna use it to create our own definition. Mm-hmm. But let's be real though, bro. Either way, you look at it, B or N, bro. Like, what is the proper definition? Yeah. <laughs> How you feel? How, how my ladies feel about it with with y'all being called bees all day long? Like y'all sisters being called bees, y'all mamas being called bees by other black men, and it's basically being bought by the millions. I was never comfortable with it mm-hmm. ever. Even as a if a woman would say it like as an endearing term, it always rubbed me the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? Because I guess because when I grew up, it was always a negative connotation to it. Yeah. Somebody called you a bee they were speaking badly of you. So even when they try to switch it or embrace it, it just always, like, hit me wrong. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't talk to my people like that. They don't talk to me like that. For I sure. mean, they just know that's not how I roll. But it was never, even the N-word, I don't, no, I started using that. I don't know who I started hanging out with. It ain't me. <laughs> Looking at me, it ain't me. <laughs> I call myself, I'm like, damn, I'm just using this, like, but anyway. Me. But the B-word. <laughs> yeah, that flows out I of never, me. I never, I don't use that one for sure. Mm-hmm. And I can't use it as just, like, saying, oh, that's my girl, and just throw that in there. Like, it's just never sounded right to me. Nah, it, it always sounded like you're insulting somebody or trying to get, provoke them. Yeah. Yeah. Or make them feel less than. So it, I can never switch it up with that word, though. I can't, definitely how you not, feel about it, Definitely can? not that one. <laughs> I gotta agree with that because, like, if you calling, you're like, for instance, if you're calling your friend a bee and with a guy calling her a bee, like, what's the difference between the word? Like, it's the same word all the way. But I ain't gonna cap, man. Being that y'all and already evolved it to that point, like I feel like it's normalized today, though. What? Like, it is. Yeah. Yeah. I know you guys. You feel me? I don't know if it's because y'all are Christian women, but in reality, like if you watch black women talk to each other today, all you hear them saying is like, you feel me? Oh, yo, like it's 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 crazy, bro. It's almost like cringy when you when you watch women just calling each other like that's my or you feel me? And we can't say it because we on you know on the radio and you know as a Christian <laughs> platform. But I'm sure everybody understands in what um, aspect we speak in this. Yeah. Well, Why has that him? become so normal with women calling each other like, you know, like, that's my hoe, that's my B, that's like. Yeah. yeah. Like, with the H word, the one, the reason bothers me even more so because that implies somebody that sleeps around. Right? Yeah, that's what we all know how, it for, for being. Yeah, that sleeps around has no, like, self-value or whatever. But what does, when you guys hear the B word, what does that make you think of? Like, what type of woman does that make you think of? Uh, mm. I, I think Tupac said it the best. I wonder why they call you. You mm. know what I'm saying? 
And the, if you listen to that song, uh, I Wonder Why They Call You B, uh, it's off of the All Eyes On Me album, he pretty much give a definition of what a B is. You dig what I'm saying? And the reason why he made that song, there was somebody, I believe, in the political department, I think her name was C. Dolores Tucker, who attacked, you know, Tupac and some other rappers using the B word. And then after that, after he made the record, if you listen to the song, at the end of the song, he um, he addresses C. Dolores Tucker and say, hey, you want to know why we call these women B? Well, here's the storyline. You feel what I'm saying? So for those of us that haven't heard the song, why do... What does it mean? Like, what what did he say it mean? Well, whatever? according to him, this is this is the nineties. You feel me? So mm-hmm. when people were using the word "b" in the nineties, it was a very like harsh thing. You know what I'm saying? Because Too Short was using it, Snoop was using it. But according to Pac, Pac is like you a b if you're like sleeping with a guy for something. You feel me? According to the song, somebody done played you. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Uh, what you call it? Like so. In other words, he pretty much equated it as being an H O E. Mm. In that particular context, because the song says, you feel me, like, you know, the dudes in the locker room, high five, they played you, you feel me? But is it, there any positive <laughs> to it? Like, no. Nah, do y'all see it as being positive at all? Know. Like, go ahead, Ken, I ain't heard you in a while. How you feel about um, it, bro? I call females B words, you feel me? Like, on the regular. Not, and it's crazy, too, mm-hmm. not like, <laughs> that's too much that's found. crazy. <laughs> And it's crazy because well, it, answer um Queen Queen Esther's question there, like in regards, well, to w- what does it mean to you, like when you hear or when you say it to a female? Is it just like instead of saying my nigga, like to a, a homeboy, you saying B to a chick? If I hear a female be like B B, I look at it as the N word to a, to two dudes. To be honest, okay, mm-hmm. you feel me? For a man to be like A B is weird to me. I'm not funny. I, when I say I use the word B, I'm not gonna go to a girl. A B, can, can mm-hmm. go get some water for me? I ain't finna say that, but like, if I'm talking to somebody, hey, you remember that B, blase, blase, you feel me? And it's crazy how I say that. Y'all look at me like, what is this crazy? <laughs> but, I'm, but I'm keeping it honest. Yes, but please do. Honestly, though, it depends on who the person I'm talking about, too, though. Mm. You know what I mean? So I'm saying, what? who who falls into that category? What type of woman Everybody falls Everybody until that? I see you something different. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. Like, I Queen Esther, you. no lie. I'm not going to be like, oh, you know the B I be on the show with the podcast with? I ain't for to say that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say the woman, I'm going to describe you. You know what yeah. I'm trying to tell you? So I, I usually so, say females. So huh? have, were you conditioned? Yeah. I I grew up hearing that all the time. So and you, music just, you and don't everything. mean nothing bad by Not it. at all. Yeah. Not at all. Just this girl. That's yeah. why I say by B. Another way of saying girl. You yeah. feel me? But <laughs> it's not... If if I don't like you, like if I feel like you're a certain person, I'll I'll you know there's a difference between the B and the H. Like which I was like, oh, the B and the H ain't the same thing to me. Yeah, you feel me? I can see the that. The B and H, a foot dragger, a skeezer, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you feel me? It's <laughs> I a whole never bunch heard that of, one. Like, kind of want to ask when different would, categories of what what a female <laughs> is, but I feel like the females use it as a N word in their in their community. I feel like um, music. And growing up in certain areas has conditioned yeah. some of us to use it like it's you know easy. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Like I don't really I don't call females bees or not. I just call them female or I say home girl or whatever like that. You know, not because you know I'm perfect or nothing. I just that's just not me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Some people are different. Me, I don't do that. You know. But I will say though, like if a woman does portray herself as a bee and does be type things you so know what I'm what what is that though that's what esther was asking like that's what, what i'm that? saying like a b to me like okay is it rude like a chick that's rude loud uh, like ratchet some some, some yeah like, like some like sometimes it could be that bro like i've been in a workplace where people say yo man don't mess with her man she'll be you know what i'm saying like you feel me like in other words she got a skank attitude <laughs> oh, okay. she mad mean. rude yeah, she yeah, mean yeah, yeah, that's yeah, like yeah. some people do that yeah, but also yeah, like you know yeah, what i'm yeah. saying like you know but the thing is though guys call other guys call guys b to, to downplay them. A B at Like, you know what I'm saying? You're a B, you know what I'm saying? What that means? So, like, when they B-ass. say that. Saying he had like a female. Like, in right? other words, he's acting like a female. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know that? So, that, you know what that means? I just had an epiphany. That means every time, bro, you're, like, every time. Well, you use the biggest female. words, bro. No, it's, no, not just that, but every time when you try to, like, <laughs> like, you try to uh, condescend somebody, bro, for some reason, bro, the, like, women is always the, the, the target. 
if I want to downplay a dude and be like, yo, either you a P, you feel mm-hmm. me, bro? That's mm-hmm. related to the female. You a B, they want to relate that nah. to a female, bro. But it's, 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 it's not, not that. that. No, 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 bro. No, no. I'm just saying. But I'm it's, saying just, it's, it's not because you knocking a female, though. Yeah, exactly. Not not even I, knocking it's not that knocking the female. What I'm yeah. saying is, so why, why would we use female things? To make that person feel like he you know, is. he's you not a female. You know what I'm saying? Because he's not he a female. Real emotional out exactly. Here. He's can, not a female. But doesn't that make, gonna... doesn't that make, the, doesn't that make like, the, like the image of a woman look even bad? Just no. Even no. It, it makes his like, image look bad, bitch. That's it. Exactly. <laughs> You're attacking his image. <laughs> the big, yeah, the big you, came out. <laughs> I have yeah. to. Sometimes women could encourage each other by like having man type qualities like maybe not being too emotional or being able to take over the business like a, you know, yeah, yeah, I don't know like what word we we'll use right now, I can't think of it, but it would be more like a compliment coming from us to like, yeah, you you, you handled it like a man or whatever, like, I don't, okay, I don't know okay, what to say crazy. exactly, right? I, I can't think of the words. I, 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 I see what you're going saying. I see what you're you going to encourage I'm, each other, right? You feel me? Because you're you yourself like a boss, like a man, like, yeah. you handled that girl, oh, girl, you had you're balls. You, yeah, oh, yeah, that's yeah, the ball. But you need balls. You know, and, and like but for see, bravery. If for a woman to say that to a woman, why do we need balls? Like we don't need no, balls. You. I, I see what y'all going with. And also, too, you <laughs> know it's, what a, saying? it's also, a compliment when a woman <laughs> compares another woman thank to a man. You. But it's a, it's so it's horrible when you compare they, a man to a chick. Yeah, okay, so my point exactly. So what I'm trying to say is like. Every time, if you're trying to downplay a dude, right, you feel me, make him feel this like that, you put they female, use yeah. women, mm-hmm. like traits of women or whatever, be like, oh, you're this, you're that, right? But then when it comes to the, you know, when it comes to the man, right, um, if a woman is trying to encourage the woman and they use male traits of the man, it's more uplifting. Yo, what's going on? It's that boy Nev Live in effect. Sock out fit, 3927. We're out on route with 66. And we 10 toes down. Listen, make sure every Sunday you tune in to the Youth Believe Ministries on Facebook, 10.30 p.m. to midnight. Every Sunday we go live on Facebook. Also, if you missed the show, you could go on YouTube, Believe TV Productions, subscribe, and you can see all the shows that we post up. And you can always chime in, like, comment, let your friends know. And always show love to all those who's tuning in because at the end of the day, we're here to keep it Christian. We're here to enlighten the people with the You Believe Ministries as always. Stay tuned.